vote to enter the Oregon case at Wesley. I've been the minister here for almost four years, and it's the first time that I've ever been here. Actually, the first time I've ever been in any Oregon case. And I expect most people from the congregation have not been here. We have at the front of our sanctuary a facade of pipes, and some of those pipes are actual, uh, actually sound, the, the sounds that we hear. But within this organ case, this, this huge cabinet area, are all kinds of pipes. And so first of all, I'm going down. And this, uh, this uh, cabinet is, is three stories high, well, actually four stories high, because beneath me is where the bellows are. And the bellows create all this air, all this wind, and it comes up through these, these huge pipes here. And then every pipe, the air goes to. So it might come through here, or it comes along here. It goes back there. And, and every pipe has air going to it, so that when, when that particular note is played on the keyboard, on the organ, then that note sounds because air is going through it. Because that's the way that organs work. There is moving air, air, spirit, ruach, wind blowing through it. And here at the lower level, we also have we also have other pipes, pipes that begin over here, pipes behind me. These are the are the harp pipes. And there's a, there are special things which make them sound like a harp. And then over here there are other pipes, ones that begin, and then and then uh, from here other ones are built that are going to go up higher. So I can see the bottom of these pipes, and then there's a level above me that we're going to go to in a minute. And then above that, there's another level. And then there's some pipes which are as long almost as the whole cabinet here uh, that goes up for three stories because they are the lowest pipes and it needs lots of space to create those sounds. Here I am climbing up in the organ loft. It's the first time I've ever been in an organ loft. This is quite interesting. It almost feels like when we were climbing up into the attic, only this is a place that very few people have ever been. In fact, maybe only one or two people in the congregation has ever even seen this. So I'm coming up and there's more and more pipes the further up I come. And here on my side, these are pipes over here. They may not, you may not think of them as being pipes because they're wood. And the pipes that you see out front are metal. But these are pipes and they have a particular sound in it. And you notice that they're smaller here and then get bigger and bigger and bigger. And so the larger they get, the lower the note, or the smaller they get, the higher the note. So each one of these has one note. And now I'm coming up further and, oh, look at the pipes. Um, all the different shapes and sizes and big and small. Now I want you to see behind me as well because behind me you may think it looks like a wooden wall but these are actually pipes these wooden things each one of them is a pipe and these are probably the lowest notes on the organ and i'm looking up up, up. They're, they're huge they go way up there and so they're they're big around and and they're long and that makes them very very low sounds and then here beside us are all kinds of other pipes there's some there's some wooden ones in here and they have a particular sound and then there's these ones here which are going to have a particular sound and then they're getting smaller and smaller and smaller and see how there's different shapes that some of them get smaller at the top and then widen out down further um, some of them you can see they have kind of an orange uh, band around them and they're probably a particular stop as well that has another sound or then in behind there's smaller ones yet very very tiny they're, they look like a straw imagine that each one of those makes a particular sound and so those small ones make very very high notes so here I am sitting at the organ console and we have all of these different different stops and each of them have a different sound and so we have three keyboards and there's different different uh, stops for each one of those so let's see if I put on this sound which is going to be an oboe which is going to be kind of a nasal sound you hear this and I'll make it a little bit louder 
But if we change that to a flute sound, see how that changes? Now if we put the flute and the oboe together, or if I change it to a piccolo, and let's see, put an oboe, and now what if we added a trumpet to it? Now I'll get rid of some of the other ones, see, so you can just hear the trumpet. Now in the pedals, let's see, there's all kinds of brass sounds here, so I'll put a trombone down here. 